Hi guys and ladies, once again I'll show you a minute of me fishing through dangerously thin ice. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but from the safety of the dock. And when we come back, we'll have some fun in the kitchen making crappie cakes a new way. And you won't have to worry about carbs. I'm going to make my first cast right here off the dock. I just put the lure in for like a, not even a minute and I caught a big, big bluegill. <laughs> this is great. Uh, a bit too small, <laughs> but it's good to see another fish. It's been hours, I've been hours out here. I'll throw this one back. I didn't catch a crappie this time out, but let's use these that I froze. You might have noticed that I don't care much for crappie. To me, they have a dry, mealy taste. But before you call me un-American for not liking them as one viewer has, <laughs> I'm going to try a recipe where I think they'll taste pretty good. Let's do a quickie side first, and then we'll get right into our crappie cakes. Here I have fresh thyme. I'm supposed to strip the leaves off of three sprigs. Now, is this one sprig, or are these spriglets, or I don't know. Let's just do a bunch. And the leaves don't come off so easily. I have too much time on my hands. The recipe calls for a pint of cherry tomatoes, but I like these better. These are called compare. I'm going to slice them into thirds. Compare. In a large bowl, add vinegar, oil, and thyme. A couple teaspoons of red wine vinegar. Now it's four tablespoons of olive oil. One, two, let's put in our chopped thyme. Let's add a quarter teaspoon of this exotic salt. Now some pepper. Now we'll just whisk. Let me taste this. I'm gonna add a little more salt. Somehow, I've got to add our tomatoes. We're supposed to serve this now within five minutes. Well, I'm not. Because I'm going to put this in the fridge and get on with our crappy cakes. I need fresh lemons here. When someone hands you lemons, you juicify them. I think that's the lemon law. There you go. I've oiled up a baking sheet. And look what I have here. These are my crappie fillets. Look, they're as big as tilapia. All I'm going to do is cook them bare. No seasoning. Just throw them in this cookie sheet, baking sheet, and into the oven for between 15 and 20 minutes until I'm sure they're cooked. It's been about 16 minutes. Let's get these out. I know they don't look like much, but they're cooked, and that's the important thing. Now we'll let them cool, and then we'll shred them up. Let's just put these crappie in this bowl. And we'll get right to flaking them. These fish are now as flaky as I am. In a large bowl, mix the lemon juice, eggs, onion powder, garlic powder, mustard, salt, pepper, thyme. <laughs> Let's get going. One half cup of lemon juice. Two eggs. One teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. 
To fulfill this recipe, I had to get horseradish mustard. I found it in the supermarket, and here it is, a heaping tablespoon I'm gonna put in. Here's about a half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. And now more chopped thyme. Look at this. I put in about, oh, a heaping tablespoon. Let's just whisk this up. Sometimes you have to take a whisk in life. Now we're just putting in our flaked crappie. Now let's put in a half cup of flour. Ah, 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 you know me, this isn't ordinary flour. This is almond flour. Let's try whisking again. Here's all I'm doing. I've got almond flour here, and I've got this scoop. And this stuff is really, really wet. So I'm trying to get the water out, forming it into little patties, which go into this almond flour and then into this holding plate. And there we have it. I have to confess, this is not holding together well. So I'm gonna add some coconut flour. Coconut flour is very absorbent. And it tastes fine. Look how much better these come out with just like a quarter cup of coconut flour added in. It holds them together so much better. And now, into the almond flour coating, a couple times, into the holding plate, that's it. This might be the last one, it's gonna be a big one. Into our almond flour, <laughs> and into the holding plate. Now I'm gonna refrigerate these for a half hour and then we'll fry them up. This is like round 10, the grand finale. I have to cook these in olive oil. I'm nervous, I'm always nervous, here goes. They say about four minutes on each side. I think that's too long, maybe three, I don't know. They're holding together nicely. All right. It's been about three and a half minutes. Let's see if I could turn these over. I'm so nervous. Okay. We'll let this side go four minutes then. Yeah. Well, you get the idea. I'm gonna do this in two batches. I got some more here, and then we'll plate them up. Look what else I found at the supermarket. Huntley's Seafood Dipping Sauce. Let's try some of that. I got 18 of these crappie cakes, and I'm gonna taste one. Let me grab this thick one. Put it in our dipping sauce. This is better than I thought. I don't taste that mealy, dry taste. Here's what I taste, a lemon. You get the lemon and I think I get the aroma of thyme, but what I really like what's kicking me in a good way is that horseradish mustard. Ooh, mmm, this is good. These are not crappy cakes. They are really good crappy cakes, good crappy cakes. You might be wondering where my frequent dinner guest, Miss Lulu Cheeks is. Well, she's a bit too busy this week and because she's packing for her trip to Paris to review restaurants there. Uh, well, we did have dinner though at a, a charming place the other night. I, mean, I don't think she's much closer to marrying me, but we did talk about finance and romance. Take a look. Oh yeah, and thanks so much for watching. Thank you for joining me for dinner tonight. I, you know, I, I love these uh, romantic restaurants and, and this McDonald's is uh, one of the most elegant. You're welcome. It's very nice here, I agree. Oh, thank you again for picking up the check. You know, I, I was planning to take care of it, but they threatened to repossess my ice fishing hut. And now you're out of cash. Ah, uh, it's okay, you're welcome. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, I mean, uh, Lulu, I think it's true. A person can't live without love. Oh, I don't know. I think oxygen ranks higher. Huh? Oh, um, can I get a hug in the parking lot? Sure. I got 18 of these, uh, what are these?